Good morning, children. Mr. Bruce here. Another day, another book. Today's book, coincidentally, is about bears again. The teddy bears moving day. It's about teddy bears who live in a house and they're moving to a different place, which is sometimes stressful. But before we start, guys watching, who's listening, or just quiet, why do you come? Teddy bears moving day. There were five bears in bed. Today was moving day. Everyone was thinking about it. Everyone except for Robert and Fred. Robert was pretending it wasn't moving day at all. Fred the dog, he was under the bed fast asleep. Moving day won't take long, said Andrew, if everyone helps. And we can have spaghetti afterwards, maybe. Mmm. Robert should help out too, said Charles but Robert always spills everything. Hmm. No, I do not. And loses everything. No, I do not. And forgets everything. I do not. Boy, they're picking on Robert, huh? Again, he says, I do not. He's a yellow bear. Meanwhile, the heaviest things were loaded onto the truck. Wait, said William. There's some leftover milkshake still left in the refrigerator. Oh, you don't want to move the refrigerator with a leftover milkshake in it. It'll spill. Have you packed yet, Robert, X Charles? You're in the way, Robert, said John. Robert wanted to carry his tent. Look out, said Andrew. Boy, oh boy, those guys are getting on Robert's case. Bang! And they ran into each other. Oh, Robert. When everything was ready, they all set off for the new house. I know the way, said Charles. He had made a map. So to get on their bikes and put things in their baskets, and they start driving over to the house on Green Street. The map looked like that, and there's Green Street. Green Street, when they got to it, was lovely. It had trees, it had cute houses, it had a nice wide street. And look at this, something fell off one of the, one of the bicycles. Looks like a toy crab. Robert didn't notice. When he got there, he said, where are all my things that were in my basket? They're gone. Oh, Robert, they said. You must have had a hole in your basket and everything fell out on the way over here. Now I'll have to go back. I hate moving, said Robert. He found a crab shell there. He found a stone with a hole in it over there. He found a piece of blue glass over here. A caterpillar in a matchbox. The jar of the toad was, oh my gosh. All my things I'm finding over the street. Finally, I found it. My piece of wood that looks like a horse. I looked all over for that. Robert stopped and looked at the map. Which way was it? There wasn't a bear in sight. He didn't really know where he was. Oh, no, he thought. I'm lost. Oh, my gosh. Around the corner came Sarah and Louise. Why are you crying, they asked. Do you know where Green Street is, said Robert? I think so, said Sarah. We live on Green Street. She and Louise show Robert the way home. Where have you been, said William and Andrew. You haven't helped at all, said John. Have you been crying, said Charles? Only tiny cubs cry, said John. Everyone cries sometimes, said Louise. They do not, said John. And they were being kind of mean to Robert, weren't they? They do. They don't. They do. They don't. Hey, look out for my glasses. Stop. Boy, Robert walked out of the room. He was mad. Afterward, Charles ran a hot bath for all the bears to get a hot bath after they moved. Let's go back to work, said Andrew. Hmm, Charles thought. I wonder where Robert is. I haven't seen him all afternoon. They were painting the house and scrubbing the house and putting away things. They painted the room pink. Doesn't the room look lovely now, said Sarah. Supper's ready, said Charles. And they said, wait a second. Where's Robert? Nobody sees Robert. They went out in the back. Robert had set up his tent. They said, I'm sorry, Robert. Z 
sometimes bears do cry. Not only little cubs, all bears cry. I'm sorry I was mean to you. Come on in and have dinner. Moving makes you hungry, said William. Robert had another helping of spaghetti. It certainly does, he said, and I'll have just a little bit more sauce. The end. Well, Robert, like people, bears sometimes cry when they get scared or if they get lonely or if they just get moody. Everybody cries, even bears. So here's my question. All these guys took their favorite stuff and put it in their baskets on their bike and drove to the new house. If you were driving to your new house and you'd only take one thing to fit in your basket, what would you bring with you? Would you bring your favorite bear or your favorite doll or your favorite truck, or your favorite hat or glasses? What would you take with you if you could just take one thing in your bike to get to your house until the rest of the stuff caught up to you? Okay? I'll see you guys real soon. Until then, be good and wash your hands. Bye-bye.